Hello, I'm Richard Sales, uh, and I suppose I'm the public face of the Gina Miller concerts. So that's what I'm going to talk about. The Gina Miller concerts are a series, rather more than occasional but not quite regular, of concerts that the Friends organise in conjunction with the Royal Northern College of Music. They happen in the South Gallery at the moment, overlooking the park, on a Sunday afternoon. And they go back quite a long way. Uh, to many people, Gina Miller is uh, a well-known name of now, but uh, ours was an earlier Gina Miller, who was uh, for a long time personal assistant to the Chancellor of the University, but was also a very long-standing member of the Friends of the Whitworth. In her will, Gina Miller left a legacy to the Friends, and the Friends decided that they would use that legacy to promote this series of concerts, um, broadening our outlook on the arts. And so that's what happened. And there's a, a chunk of money that, that funds those, although that won't last forever. So at the concerts, although the concerts are free, we ask for donations from the public uh, so that hopefully we can keep them going in perpetuity. I first came across them several years ago. Uh, my late wife Stella used to be a member of the Tuesday team, who are the remarkable people who do all the administration for the Friends of the Whitworth, um, totally unpaid and for the love of it, and gather on the Tuesday morning. And the concerts have been going, going on for many years, and the students from the Royal Northern College used to turn up and play, and, uh, and that was it, and uh, a small crowd of people would gather. And they were talking about the concerts one Tuesday morning, and somebody thought it might be a good idea to have somebody to introduce the concerts. Stella piped up, my husband's an actor, and so I got the job, and I've been doing it ever since. And very pleased to I am as well, because we get some wonderful concerts. The, um, at that time, as I say, a good concert would get 30 or 40 people, um, so it was a, a fairly low-key affair. Uh, and then I thought, people perhaps need a regular reminder of this, and I, I thought we could um, run an informal email list uh, if people wanted, wanted to hear about what was up next. And so we invited people to drop their email address down, and started sending out a, a reminder before each concert. And that, that gradually grew. I wasn't aware quite how much it had grown until my computer system refused to send out one of these emails. And that was on the basis that there were 100 people on the list and it wouldn't cope with 100 people. So I had to start a second list. Um, and that was when I realised how many people had actually signed up for this. Because of that, because of other publicity, the, the concerts are advertised on the, um, on the uh, website. Um, and we also started a, a Facebook page, Gina Miller Concert. And so each concert is given an event and that can be publicised as well. Uh, people certainly do check on that. It's not the same sort of numbers as the email list, which is now something in excess of 220 people. Um, but gradually over the years, the numbers have built up and uh, we will get up to 200 people now. Uh, certainly since last Christmas, they've regularly been 170 and, uh, as I say, up to a couple of hundred. A lot of seats are put out, but people are also lining the walls to, to see these concerts. They're only three quarters of an hour long. They're uh, a remarkable standard. The students from the college are excellent musicians going to be professional musicians. This is part of that journey for them. Um, and it's, uh, and we're treated to some wonderful stuff. Uh, we get regulars, we get new people, and uh, it's, it's turning into a, a, a sort of a bit of a family thing now. It's, uh, it just, just feels like comfortable and, and a fun thing to do on a Sunday afternoon. Enjoy the music and enjoy whatever else is going on in the gallery. Come along.